So let me start off by saying this is not a week or an episode of this season that I liked by any means. But we are back with another episode review of Big Brother 26. Double Eviction Night. I don't really know what episode this is. These are. This is from uh, Sunday's episode, the Wednesday Veto episode, and tonight's Double Eviction episode. Kind of in a sad, sour mood because, or somber mood because, uh, it was just the predictable, the the second half of the double eviction was a predictable choice, which I would say like 80% of the times it is. 80% of the time the double eviction is exciting because of the double eviction, but majority of the time it's just the, pers the most predictable choice that goes home. But I'm going to speed through the recap of Sunday's episode and Wednesday's episode just like they did on this show. Because let me tell you, that was the fastest uh, preview that they've ever had. Because usually Big Brother recaps or previews or like previously on Big Brother, it is so long. Like I'd be like, oh my god, why are these like two minute recaps, three minute recaps? This one was so short. I was like, okay, they really sped through that. So... Mackenzie, last time we left off, they started their little building blocks, uh, HOH, which was really cool. They were in different rooms and stuff, and they had to lock in. Angela locked in. She actually locked in with more than, I think, I think it was 20 or 25, whatever, than her number. But I found out that it has to stay assembled for five seconds after you hit the button. And she hit the button, and a couple fell off. But even if they would have stayed on, she still wouldn't have ended up winning the eventual winner. Or beating the eventual winner. Mackenzie ended up winning. Mackenzie ended up winning. I think she had 28 blocks. She's the HOH. She ends up nominating Angela and Chemo. The easy, predictable choices. I'll say easy, predictable. I don't know. Like, for her. Um, but she wanted Angela out. Which is understandable. Uh, kind of understandable, because Angela likes Mackenzie, and Angela wouldn't have went after Mackenzie. If I'm on Big Brother, my my thing that I would always do is I would never, ever nominate somebody that wouldn't nominate me. That And Angela wouldn't nominate Mackenzie, so bad choice for Mackenzie, but also good choice for Mackenzie, because Mackenzie don't like Angela. She didn't like Angela, she wanted Angela out. That's fine. That was all good. But Chelsea was in her ear all week. She was really pushing, pushing for Leah to be the one up and evicted. Because Leah, which Leah made a huge mistake telling Rubina. I don't know why she told her this, but she told her, I really regret getting rid of T-Core. I should have went after her. I should have made a bigger move. I should have got rid of Chelsea. Why would you tell Rubina that? Why didn't you just tell Angela that? You should tell Angela or somebody. Like somebody you're close to. But he, she told Rubina for whatever reason. Rubina told Mackenzie for whatever reason. But I guess it was fine for Rubina because Rubina's still in the house. <laughs> after double eviction night. But anyway... All this happens. Chelsea uses this for more fuel to get Le Leah out. We get to the veto. The veto was... I'm not going to lie, guys. I would have did bad at this. Because you had to listen. This was a very detailed veto. And it's so funny that McKenzie won in nine minutes. Because I know behind the scenes, come a feed watcher, three people timed out. <laughs> the other three that you didn't see, they all timed out. And it was a 45-minute timeout. So, like... And then, like, second place was 20 minutes, right? I might have been getting this wrong. But Mackenzie won by a landslide. And you would think that this would tell people to get her out, but apparently not. Well, kind of Rubina and Chemo want Mackenzie out, from what I remember. So Mackenzie wins the veto. And she actually falls for the bait. <laughs> it's so funny, because Chelsea, like... Some of the stuff that Chelsea was saying to McKenzie is just like McKenzie was just eating it up. And it's like, she's saying like, nobody will be going after you. Nobody will be going after you. And it's like, what's the difference between if she got Angela out? Because Leah's not going after her. Everything that Chelsea was saying about Leah, you can replace with Angela for a reason for her to get Angela out. But I liked Angela. I wanted Angela to stay anyway. So yeah, I was fine with Leah leaving if I had to get one of them. So... Mackenzie uses the veto on chemo, and she puts up Leah. So now it's Leah versus Angela. It was a big thing because Leah was surprised, shocked. She would never put Mackenzie up. Mackenzie is just, this is Chelsea's HOH. <laughs> this is literally Chelsea's HOH. I think every single move that happened would have happened with Chelsea being HOH. It's, it's insane. Uh, and the crazy thing is, like we've all known Chelsea was going to win this game for weeks now. But it's like she's just, she's it's like she's, Literally a puppet master. It's like she's Paul. It's like this is season 19, except she's nice. 
<laughs> Literally. It's like she's nice. She's not calling people stupid and stuff. Or maybe Danielle Ray. It's like she's literally a puppet master. Like just, these are my puppets and here, this is what I do. Remember how Paul would be in the diary room saying he was doing it. Chelsea's just really nice about it. So, but they ended up voting out Leah. Well, I jumped the gun. We, they were getting these AI messages, which we all knew was for double eviction. Um, Julie and AI or Angsley, whatever, it was to set up to double eviction. We get to the speeches. Angela, this was actually Angela's best speech. Of all the speeches she's given, this is the best one. She was really sweet, and it was from the heart. It seemed really genuine. I like this one. I like. I think this is like how Angela really is outside the house. She was really sweet. Uh, this speech. And then we got to Leah's speech. And she was very nervous. It was... If you can call it a speech, basically. She was just very nervous. She was all over the place. She said, um, so many times. If you took a shot for every time she said, um, you would be drunk. You'd be on the floor. She was really nervous and fumbling her speech. But it was okay. Because it was pure. It was real. It was... I feel like she kind of knew she was leaving. But anyway votes and we I think this is the first unanimous vote it might not be I don't know but Leah ends up leaving she leaves oh it's announced that it is double eviction by the way so then uh from Leah's interview what did we get we got that she is excited to see Quinn uh she didn't know who she would have taken between Mackenzie and Angela even though it's hindsight now so like when she's sitting on stage she should have been like I would have took Angela look what Mackenzie did <laughs> <laughs> but she said at the time she didn't know who she would take Angela or Mackenzie. Clearly, you should have took Angela. Mackenzie is not loyal to it. But Angela did kind of do that one thing. With I'm sure you guys already know what happened by now. My camera ran out of storage, and we're back. But uh, something else they mentioned was the 26. So Leah's favorite number is 26. Her lucky number is 26. She has a tattoo, 26. Something else about 26. And today is the 26th day. She says she still loves the number. Nonetheless, so that was ironic and kind of like interesting. So we get to the HOH, and right away, I have to, I have to point this out. I have to say this on camera. Right when we got to the HOH, I looked at McKenzie and I was like, I feel like I've seen her in this outfit like five times. <laughs> like, I feel like deja vu. I feel like, how many times have I seen McKenzie wear this outfit? Like, this is like her. H.O.H. outfit or whatever and then I looked at Chelsea and I was like I feel like I've seen her in this outfit five times <laughs> I'm like what the, like what is going on did they, did they do this on purpose like so I, I feel like I saw Chelsea in this outfit I feel like I saw McKenzie in this outfit I'm just like what is going on but whatever right when I saw what the competition was and it was about what Julie said as AI I knew Chelsea would win I was like well Chelsea's about to win this we're about to get a predictable outcome Cause I would have preferred if Cam won, to be honest. <laughs> Cause he at least it was a little uh, some hope that he might, you know, take Mackenzie out and do a big, you know, exciting move. But and that wouldn't have been good for his game, by the way. <laughs> him taking Mackenzie out is not good for him because Mackenzie could still switch immediately. Chelsea gets an early lead. Like she had like two points above everybody by the time question three happened. I was like, oh well, and I kind of stopped paying attention. I'm not even gonna lie, I kind of stopped paying attention. But then she was one up from everybody except Angela. Angela, well, from from Angela, it was Angela who had like five and think I think Angela had five and Chelsea had six, and everybody else was just done. But and I might be wrong, but I just know that Angela had one less than Chelsea. And then they had different answers. And Angela got it right. And I got hope. I got hope. I was like, oh, my God. She could do it. But then I was like, well, it's a tiebreaker. And we know how this goes. Chelsea is very smart. That's why she wins these type of challenges in the first place. But then it's the tiebreaker. And the tiebreaker, people always embarrass themselves with these tiebreakers. And, um... Something that I will put out there is if you go on Big Brother, or even if you have a shot at going on Big Brother, I would say memorize 60 minutes and how long, how, how many minutes are in 24 hours and how many minutes are in like 10 hours, 5 hours. Like remember 60 minutes and how, how long is that? How, how many, how many 60 minutes? Because it's normally, what is the answer to this in minutes, you know? And in this case, it was how long was Zanky, or Janky, Janky in the house, around. And I knew it was a week. 
I knew it was about a week, but in minutes, I have no idea. No, I have no idea how many minutes. I don't know how many minutes off the top of my head. How many minutes are in a day off the top of your head? Then you have to, like, do, it was a lot of math. And Angela was just sitting there going like this, looking up, like, doing mental math. Chelsea was doing math. <laughs> but to be honest, she probably should have just looked up because Chelsea's answer was a thousand something, which is, like, that's like a day, right? Like, one day. And then Angela's answer was 15,000 something. And it was just, oh man, she went over. She went over because the answer was 10,000 something. It was 10,000. So if she would have just wrote 10,000, she would have won. But she wrote 15 something or another. Like, I think it was 15,550 or something like that. It was insane. And Chelsea won. And at that point, it's like, give her the check. Write her the check. She's the best player by far. The second best player on this season, who is it? At this point, who is it? Even the people that you think could have been good, like Joseph. Maybe he was doing what he was doing on purpose. But no, he couldn't even win when he needed to win. So no, Quinn, he made horrible decisions. He got two of his closest allies out on his HOH. And he kept trying to target Angela, of all people. No, Angela, you can't say she was a good player at the end of the day. She was crazy. She was, you know... You know how she was. Mackenzie just got her somebody that would never get her on the block, never post like somebody that would have took her to the final two potentially. She just got her victim already. Age. Who is second place? It's not Tucker. If anyone loves Tucker? It's not Tucker. He he got Brooklyn out. Brooklyn never <laughs> never won a single thing. Brooklyn was not the mastermind. He had his. He had the right idea, wrong person. <laughs> Can you imagine if Tucker would have got out Chelsea instead of Brooklyn? But I guess he couldn't because Chelsea won the AI Arena that week anyway. Chelsea immediately goes to her one-on-one -on -one with Cam, and she says it right there. Uh, Chemo, Angela, Angela out. <laughs> Chemo tried to not get Rubina nominated if he won uh, Vito. Well, let's just get to the Vito. The Vito was actually pretty easy. It was like uh, they had to roll this ball down this little ramp, and the ramp was snake, you know, like S-shaped. And uh, get five balls inside of a tube in three minutes. But if three minutes are up and no one has five, then the person who had the closest will win in the fastest amount of time. And Kimo won in one minute. One minute, four seconds to be exact. He was Vito winner. It would have been cooler if uh, Rubina won it. And Rubina and Kimo. Rubina used it on Kimo. And then it, Angela maybe could have perhaps convict, convinced them to get McKenzie or Cam out. Because then, you know, Chelsea would have had to nominate McKenzie or Cam, but highly unlikely that that would have happened. Kimo used a veto on himself, and Chelsea nominated Rubina anyway. This game is very predictable from here on out. Like, when this happened, when I saw Rubina and Angela on the block, and everyone knows Angela's leaving, I'm just like, well, it's, shut the feeds off. Shut the feeds off. There's no... There's no reason to watch. This house is about to be so boring. We have three people who won't go after each other. They're going to be the final three. We have the cool, like, I say cool, the nerds, uh, Rubina and Kimo, but I likeable. I, I like them a lot. You want to see the underdog story. It's just highly unlikely because even if... I don't know. Like, they're just, they're not going to win. They're, they're not going to win. They don't even have a story at this point. They're in the final five, so if they, if either one of them went to the, they, like, they're not going to sit in the final two chairs together, Ruby and Kimo. That's not happening. They It would be a, it would take a miracle. They would have to win out for that to happen. So one of the three, Cam, McKenzie, or Chelsea, are winning this season. And I say one of the three, I'm pretty sure, 95% of people who watch this show knows who the winner of this show is going to be. I, oh, I didn't even talk about Angela getting evicted, did I? Did I just skip over that? Kimo used the veto on himself. They put Rubina up. They voted Angela out. Uh, Angela was... She hugged everybody. She was happy. She said she's 55 years old. She's a threat. She loves Kimo. She would have took him to the end. She voted him out twice, though. I don't know. She yelled. She was super dramatic. Her interview with, with uh, Julie was really cool. Uh, she was loud, dramatic. It was funny. Um, she's a sweet, crazy old lady. She's insane. Um, in the best way possible. 
Uh, I think that Angela will be America's favorite player, and I fully support that. I want her to get it. Uh, I'm just looking at the end of because I'm like, we have to wait a week before another eviction now. There's no Wednesday episode. But it's like a week of feeds. Like, I won't be watching the feeds. There's nothing to watch. Like, nothing's going to happen. I mean, like, it's just nothing here. Like, Chelsea's super smart, man. Chelsea's just super smart. Any mental comp towards the end, those ending comps, she's winning them. She's winning them. No, it would be cool if a Big Brother Canada moment happened where Cam cuts Chelsea in the final three, but Cam's not even smart enough to make to be the final HO. In the best way possible, by the way. When I say Cam's not smart enough, I mean, he's not smart at mental comp because we saw, like, even the block challenge, like how horrible he did at it. Like he, does, he timed out in the veto competition. Cam's not good at competitions. We're in the final five and he won one competition. So, and that's not me talking crap. I'm just talking facts because, I mean, like, who knows? I might have been that bad as well. Uh, Cam just, it would be great if he did a moment from, like, Big Brother Cam, Canada. Big Brother Canada. Oh, my gosh. Well, why does that sound so weird to say? Big Brother Can. BB Can? I don't know. But, you know, Netta and John, I think his name was, that moment where he cut Netta. Y'all know the infamous moment. Like, that's top, probably top three moments in Big Brother history was him cutting that up because that was insane. And that's how I feel like it could be with Cam cutting Chelsea. But Chelsea's just too smart. Chelsea's going to win any mental competition left, I feel. She got one question wrong on that last HOH. Like, she does good at mental comps. But that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. And until next time, guys, catch y'all later.